To open up the key client, we double click on the Medico XT key client icon that was set up on our desktop when we downloaded the key client. The key client works in the following way. When you click on the start scanning button, each icon right above the status bar will turn blue when that part of the process is finished. So the first thing that will happen is the service will be contacted using the credentials that we set up under file and settings. If these settings are not correct, contacting services would turn red instead of blue. The next step is initializing the key. The key client looks for the key that is on the key client and then looks for the schedule to apply to it. The next step is processing the audits from the key. Both key audits and cylinder audits are processed in this step. The next step is receiving the new schedule and putting that on the key. And then the final step is letting us know that the process is complete. So when you click on start scanning, each icon will turn blue as that process is completed. We see that we had do not remove key and a battery level here as well. The battery level indicator is only used on generation three keys. We can keep our key client in an automatic scanning mode and remove one key and place another key on the key client. And the software will automatically pick up the new key and scan for that key as well. So you can scan multiple keys at a time on the key client, just one at a time. To end our scanning, we can click on stop scanning. To exit the key client, we will click on file and exit.